Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. We're yeah. opening mail. That's right, Ted. Let's sing our let's sing our official mail song. It's, it's time, time to, to open the mail in the basement. Mail. We definitely <laughs> did not just make that up. <laughs> no, this one comes from no name yet, but I'm not going to just read an address. That wouldn't be very nice now, would it? This comes to us from Susie Pemberton, 1141 First Street. It is from Ohio. Maple oh, Grove, I sh- I shouldn't, I shouldn't Florida. The address, though. Uh, Orange Orange County, USA. Oh gosh, I can't get it open. Oh, oh, the suspense—it's killing me. We need a we need a basement. No, of, really, I have a heart condition. Official basement <laughs> letter opener. Okay. Ooh, we should <laughs> should get make Wait, one. Just does that address still exist? Yeah, I know. I realized after that I ripped it in a dumb way. I can I can. This is yes. Enough. We can figure that out. I'm sorry. I apologize, Peter. <laughs> I know you like to have the addresses in case we want to like send a thank you note or something. Oh well. Oh my gosh! This it's a letter and it was folded up like a total of four times. Yeah. Or three times. Uh for sixteen uh, it was for th- four uh, squared. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, four times. So how many uh individual sections would that be? Sixteen. That's right, Ted. Dear the basement. Oh, the spelling is great. Hello, Peter and Ted. I am Cole. I am a fourth grader. I'm nine years old. I started watching your videos about nine months ago. I have two brothers. Max is in sixth grade and Rat is in ninth grade. Max uh, is 12 raised 15. I watch Mr. A game too. And I love it if you made a video of you guys and Mr. A game playing a three player Mario Maker 2. I don't have a mobile device, so I can't subscribe or leave a comment. P.S. I'm your biggest fan. I live in Ohio. Thank you so much. P.S. For that. P.S. Oh. I live in Ohio. Yes. P.S. P.S. Oh yeah. Sorry, there were two P.S. <laughs> That's and the there were a little more details, but I left some of the, the details out. I want to make right. sure we're protecting privacy right. and stuff like that. But thank you so much for the letter, Cole. Yeah, Cole. Super that's cool. super cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we want to play some games with Mr. A game too. We'll have to arrange that soon. I was watching some of his videos and I was like, man, I wonder if he's gotten too cool for school. And by school, I mean us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you like my hat? I uh, I like it. It's cold out here in Minnesota. It is. It's, it's like, been below zero. Ugh, Celsius. Just kidding. Fahrenheit. It's even worse. It's all about that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cole, thank you so much for the letter. And it's yes. totally cool that you can't subscribe or comment or whatever yes, because you don't have a device. That's fine. You're watching and you send us a letter, which is super neat. Yeah, it's super great. And we enjoy the letters like almost exactly the same amount as like anything else, like packages or whatever. So. Hey, fourth grade fun fact. Yes. When I was in fourth grade, on the final day of fourth grade, we took a field trip to the roller skating rink. And I asked a girl to quote go steady with me. You said the words go steady. I did. I didn't know what that meant. What are you from the 1950s? Meant. I don't know. I was watching. Gee, Mavis, would you like to go down to the malt shop afterwards? I was and- watching too many 50s movies with my parents. <laughs> but wait, now her name is was- Betsy. Oh, and my daughter's name is Betsy, and she's in fourth grade. Oh, dude, that's weird. What if she gets asked out by a kid named Peter or Cole to go steady? Hey, Cole, lay off <laughs> Cole. Betsy. <laughs> um, um, say hi to your brothers for us, and uh, we will... You know, we're in contact with Mr. A Games, so maybe some sort of Mario 2 collaboration at some point would be fun. Mario Maker 2. Yeah, maybe we could make some, like, Zelda three-player courses, and then we would have to play them together in order to be able to, like, beat them. Yeah. Oh. Hey, there's an idea for you, Basement Dwellers. Make some courses that need three players in order to beat them. Zelda courses. You should do it. It'll probably only take you four hours on a stream. Uh, it would be super, <laughs> super fun. <laughs> be so fun. But then I know the solutions. Ow. You know? Ow. But anyway, uh, I do have a fourth grader story as well. So when I was in fourth grade, I got in a lot of trouble and I ran away from school. And I got in big trouble. Oh, and my oh. teacher called me the devil. Yeah. He was homeschooled. <laughs> I ran away from home. My mom was like, Our child is the devil! My child is... Uh, I'm expelling you from my house. <laughs> That's what she sounds the like. The power of grace compels you! <laughs> she threw holy water on Ted. Put holes in him. That's, how it, That's why they call it holy water. 
Yes. All right, we got more mail. We're so yes. We're so used to opening one piece of mail that we've gotten really no, good at making one piece of mail last five minutes. No, 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 I just I like you know taking our time with it. Okay, this one comes from Cheap Panda, who I think already sent us some mails. So this is a second letter. Yeah, from Cheap Panda. She sent us um like cover art, like art for the cover of the book. So and all so sorts funny. of really cool stuff. Okay, this looks like a longer letter, which we know Cheap Panda likes to write. So. This is exciting. It's time to put on oh. your reading voice. Yes, reading voice and the awesome. I just, I gotta say this. Like, maybe oh, we can show font. it on camera now. Like, look at that. He put the actual, like, the basement font in the letter. There's no. Oh, and uh, we'll blur out your social security number. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> hey, Joker. Ted and Peter. It's your friendly neighborhood writing panda. I am writing this on December 2nd, 2019. Just want to send a quick letter with a few fun things so I can update you on what's been happening. 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 Spelled H A P P apostrophe N I N. That's right. Apostrophe. <laughs> Two apostrophes. How are you guys? Family's good? Was your Thanksgiving tasty? Did you get any deals for the accursed Black Friday? I did. I got Nino Kuni, Wraith of the White Witch, on Switch for half price. Are you excited for Christmas? It's a lot of questions. I don't even know what Wraith of the White Witch is. Uh, Sounds we'll cool, check though. Check it out. I did have a tasty Thanksgiving. I had a great Thanksgiving. I cut up a deer for Black Friday. I didn't go out, but I did uh, uh, procure a large amount of steaks. Sounds like a Red Friday. Yeah. As for me, I'm doing just dandy. Life couldn't be better. The book is coming along nicely. There's enough content already to fill a whole novel with episode one through episode seven coming in at over 300 pages. Oh my goodness. Yikes. That's only half of the episodes. I underestimated my power. <laughs> <laughs> I underestimated my power. I thought the outline I made was reasonable, but reaching 300 pages with half a plot is really encouraging to me. Uh... Uh, never knew I had it in me to write something like that. I'm still really enjoying writing. It's been one of the best experiences of my life. And after I finish this book, I'm going to write more because I love it that much. Awesome! That's Yeah, so you seem to have just like found a, a passion that was yeah. just sort of inside of you waiting to get figured out. Speaking of, how are you enjoying the book? Have you read much of it on your own? I do need to get caught up. I'm, uh, I'm, we're, we're, behind, we're quite a bit behind. I, we just got episode six uh, via email. Yes. And I have not dug into that one yet. So from now on, I'll be sending new episodes with this email. Sends, it says it's the email starting with episode six. The quest begins in this episode. There's a little song written in there. Ooh. Our favorite Floridian turned Kansas man, Danny the Two, actually took the time to create that song into actual song for a hearing pleasure. Oh, Danny. What? We recorded a music video together and planned on releasing it on my channel Black Friday for the footage got screwy, so we had to put it off for now. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's super cool. That is cool. Okay, so all the titles of different episodes. As I'm writing this, Nintendo just announced update for Mario Maker 2. Master Sword's being added. Yes. yes. For the sake of Peter's beard. It's not just Link skin. It's a full-blown Link character. Yeah, we're so excited. Uh, yeah, Ooh. we've been having fun with that. <laughs> we, Here is a course for us to play. The I've been next, having fun with it. Poor Ted has been victimized by me. Sends a course ID. For, oh, good! It's a level called the Necromancer's Tower. Ooh, nice! What a cool name for a for a level. Tower of the Necromancer, huh? What? Yeah, there's a story. In a world of wizards, there are many who specialize in all types of sorcery, yet there are some types of magic that are quite immoral to dabble in. Necromancer? Yeah, an old wizard known for isolating himself in his tower has begun the practice of necromancy. The world is out of balance. Dead creatures and Monsters that belong in the ground have been returned to life. A faring pyromancer braves the dangerous road. I bet that's Mario with the firepower. Uh, dangerous road of the Necromancer's Tower to defeat the wizards' the undead army and bring balance back to the world. Oh, I bet there's going to be like dry bones and stuff. Just for fun, I have also included a little love sonnet I wrote. Hope you enjoy it. God I, bless you. Guys. It could be. It could be Link. No, it's it's before Link. I don't think. Because oh. by the time oh. when he wrote this, it hadn't come he out He said yet. it just got announced and he already had the corset. He got it. Right. right. Got it. Here's the love sonnet from Chi Panda. The woman I swore to protect. With my dear I walk, conquering land as our kingdom grows. I had made the vow to walk with her all my days. To my dear, all my love I owe. I have sworn to protect her like a furious blaze. But when the darkness gathers round, and, I, my, and my dear, I take my, up my blade to face this foe, my strength begins to fail, my heart stricken with fear. In my hour of need, I hear a song to take my woes. I turn my eyes to her face, standing with outstretched arms. She holds me with loving embrace, stricken by her great beauty. I hope this stays family friendly. Who will have to cut She heals my out wounds and shields me from harm. To love and protect one another is truly our duty. The woman I swore to protect has protected me. Together with courage, the darkness less frightful be. Cool. Clearly, the ah. woman is wisdom. 
Yes, clearly. Oh, <laughs> hey, nice. That's pretty good uh, Proverbs reference there, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? I but thought hey, of thank that. You. <laughs> you made that up? Yeah. yeah Solomon Schmoloman. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that awesome yeah, letter. I cheap. love I love the, the... Super cool. The, what's the word I was going to put in that? The heart with which you write. <laughs> Trying to taste the word. Yeah, it didn't work as well as like your your wife tastes words you're not, better. You're not synesthetic. No, I'm not. Okay, I am synesthetic sometimes. <laughs> Sympathetic? All right, we also got a box. Yeah, we got a box. A box. Uh, I'm excited to see what's in the box. <sighs> it's alive. No, it's not. Not it's anymore. Not. This is uh. It's from Tennessee. There is like I hate packing tape because you can't like. Pierce it with your fingernail. Gonna have to grab the old keys. Grab the old. I sharpened these this time, so I could. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. That is inside joke. Inside mail video basement jokes. <laughs> it's time to open only people, the mail. Only people who have watched in the basement. Only people who have watched basement videos where we open up mail will get that joke. Yes, you have to watch them all though. We encoded that joke. <laughs> It's over the course of several episodes. You also need a uh, codex to figure it out. If you take the 17th word from every male video and you put them together in a sentence, <laughs> and then you order them by uh, someone's gonna do this now. Their prime value, you will get a and play it backwards. You'll get a recipe for really smashing lentil soup. <laughs> Good heavens! I could just. This one see comes from Kalem, uh, from Tennessee. I'm so excited to see inside said box. Ugh. I'm gonna go to put my arm around my wife later, and she's and I'm gonna say, ah, and she's gonna say, what's wrong? And I'm gonna say, my arm is sore, and she's gonna say, why? And I'm gonna say, Ted's keys are not sharp enough. He's had to hold the camera for <laughs> hours. <laughs> lost all the blood. Yeah, I need a selfie stick. You know, I think my wife has one. Don't selfie stick. I should just, I should just grab it. No. Yeah, paint it green. We're not gonna stoop that low. It could be a uh, okay. If it's a basement branded selfie stick, then it's okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm glad you went to great lengths to make sure that no mortal man could open this box. Yeah. Because when we went to the post office, the uh, employee there was trying to open it with a jackhammer. Yeah. And we and said that's ours, and they're like, "What? I what didn't touch it?" Yeah, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. No, they said. Uh, Three other post office people tried to open it, but they all died. They all <laughs> perished in the fire. Oh my gosh! The fiery disappointment of being unable to open this package. <laughs> okay, I've, I've demolished the box. Hopefully it wasn't glass figurines. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, the only way to open that box is through the return address. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I'm glad I took some care, though. There's definitely... It's not a glass figurine. It's a glass figure eight. It's a basement couch. Look at this guy. Ah! <laughs> so kawaii. <laughs> that is super cool. That is amazing. Ultra cute. What's that even made out of? Love. Solid love. Carved from the heart of a love tree. Oh my gosh, that is totally going. Cool. Oh, yep, right there on the old Super Nintendo. Maybe it'll move at some point. We'll f yeah, we'll that find some place awesome. of some place of honor for it. That's a pretty honorable spot right now, though. The Super Nintendo is a fantastic console. Yeah, and Imagine life and without all some, those RPGs. Uh, pieces of paper with I don't think there's anything important on these. That one says up. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Maybe up. Maybe there's up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. This one also says up. Okay, I think this is just scrap paper. Oh, I see a letter though. Yep, there's a letter hiding inside. I love our new basement little couch. That is so awesome. Oh! Okay, there's another. We got a good little drawing of our 8 bit faces, too. Okay, it's just a piece of paper. Okay. Hi or hello, Ted and Peter. I have watched your vids since episode 23, season 2 of You Choose How We Play Red and White. YCHWBOTW. BOTW. You choose how we play. <laughs> we should call it that in the next episode. Welcome back to YCHWPBOTW. <laughs> <laughs> I said for you to choose how we play that the while. <laughs> it's almost as long as just saying it. And, and subbed, I love your videos. Keep it up from Calum. And look at awesome little drawing of our 8-bit faces. 
Yep, there it is. Thank you for subbing. Thank you for sending us mail. Thank this you for loving our videos. We will yes. keep it up. Absolutely. And for the couch. In, In the, the basement. basement. A very important part of how The Basement is able to bring you the content that we do daily is our wonderful YouTube sponsors and Patreon patrons listed on the screen now. If you would like to join this amazing group of people who are helping The Basement to make even more content and do even more streams, you can go ahead and click the link in the description or on the screen right now. And we'd love to have you join us in making The Basement not just the friendliest place on YouTube, but the most awesome place on the planet. In our solar system. In our universe. In, in the, the basement. basement.